Hello, I am the Director of Marketing for Fairmont Foods, and I have been asked to identify whether we should open a pilot store in a major tourist de destination or the largest city in the U.S. I believe we should open our pilot in the largest city in the U.S. for several reasons. First of all, the nature of marketing planning is to plan our audience and who exactly our target market would be and then to figure out what the best product mixes would be for them so that we have the most sales possible. And in the largest city in the US, our primi primary target market would be families, and then our secondary target market would be the business travels there. Um, and for both of these things, both business travelers and families, everyone in the airport is searching for quick snacks to eat so that they can hurry to get on the flight. So the best product mixes would be grab-and-go foods, snacks, pre-packaged items, and foods that appeal specifically to kids. Any grab-and-go food would allow travelers to easily get food and then be able to board their flights quickly because everyone in the airport is trying to get to where they need to be quickly. Um, it's important to identify the market and market identification because we want to know who, where, and why. We want to know who exactly our target is, why they're there, what do they need, and where it is in the, loca in the location, who exactly, where it is. It matters where it is because specifically for tourist de destinations versus the largest city in the U.S., there's different kinds of people there, and the reasons that they're there is different. Um, tourist destinations, generally it's travelers, and there are only travelers that are generally gonna be on vacation. Where the largest city in the US, the airports have a lot of different reasons that people are traveling. Some are business, some are families going on vacation. Um, it's layovers, it's people just maybe resting before they get on another flight. So there's a very large target audience. And it's important that we identify market strategies so that they can best fit our target audience and that we generally advertise our product in a way that will appeal specifically to that target audience. So some market strategies for the largest city in the U.S. would be having signs in the airport um, telling us that we are there in the airport and that they can quickly get food with us. Um, and advertisements on moving walkways so that they hear it while they're traveling. Anywhere in the, US, in the airport so they, they see the signs, because generally people in the airport, they don't, you know, have a large, they have a large variety of places they can go to, but they're generally trying to find something that's quick and easy to go to. So if we tell them they're there, they're more likely to come to us. Um, and it's important for us to identify our product mix because we want a product that specifically fits the target. Um, having a really messy kind of food would not fit this target because these are travelers. They want something quick and easy. They don't want to be messy before their flight. They don't want to be sticky before their flight. And then it's important for us to identify our product and service competitive advantage because we want to stand out. So in an airport, there are a lot of different businesses, a lot of different restaurants available. So we want to stand out compared to them. Specifically, there are a lot of sit-down restaurants, but we want to stand out. We want to be different, and we can do this by having something that's quick and easy. Um, restaurants have lines. Um, you know, maybe that's good if you have a long time. But if you have a very short layover and you want something super quick and easy, then we can stand out and have a competitive advantage by having quick grab and go foods. Um, and then why would more than one pilot store be beneficial? Um, the marketing team and me think that that would be beneficial because we want to see exactly the best area for our stores. And if we only have them in one place, for example, if we only have them in the largest city in the U.S., we don't know exactly the difference between that and other areas. Um, in the largest city in the U.S., we might have different people that are buying our products than in other airports because there's going to be different kinds of people there versus in tourist destinations. 
So if we, would, if we were to have stores, pilot stores in both places, we could sort of identify the similarities between them and really identify who our target audience are. And then um, we can sort of decide, say we have stores in both areas, what exactly, what products we would only want to send to one store because they aren't sold in the other because there are different audiences there. Um, we believe that you should, the pilot store should generally operate for a year before you look at the data. Um, that allows you to see what the trends are over the major holidays and what it looks like during the off season. Um, Thanksgiving and Christmas are going to have different travelers than over the off season. So that will allow us to see which months of the year have the best profits and what products are sold best each time of the year. That way we can give them the products they need during that time of the year and figure out if it's really worth it in the end. Um, if nobody buys our products in the off season, then we're going to lose money by having stores and airports. Um, and the main reason we decided that the tourist destination would not be a good place for the pilot stores is because there's less of a variety of customers. Um, tourist destinations are generally going to have um, vacationers and families. That's a large market, but the largest city in the U.S. has so many more people of all different kinds. Um, it's going to have, the largest city in the U.S. is going to also have families on vacation, but it's also going to have business travelers and many other different people because there's a congregation of people trying to travel all over the U.S. from the largest city. Um, we wanted that larger group just to see, one, um, you know, how many more sales we could do to figure out which groups we best appeal to. Um, and because more people means more sales and more profit. Thank you.